The string of fires across southern Colorado presents a challenge to many local agencies. How to help out, but also to be ready for local emergencies. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller has that story. Bottles of water, crates of supplies ready as volunteers try to help. Provide hydration and food for the first responders. These supplies are going to firefighters. Well, um, not only do they know how to handle the food professionally, but they've also been cleared to go behind those front lines. From the volunteers trying to help the evacuees to the firefighters trying to put that thing out as fast as possible, engines like these are just one part of a bigger network ready to respond if necessary. Fountain fires sending crews out to several major fires burning across Colorado. And the Pueblo Department posting this picture of the firefighters preparing to head to Coaldale. That we are continually looking at uh, the fuels um, in the region to make sure that we know the potential for a large fire to break out. Lieutenant Brad Starling knows wildfires. He was on the front lines with CSFD for Black Forest and Waldo Canyon, as well as many others across the country. And putting that knowledge and skills to work on an actual fire. We have lightweight pants that are fire resistant. His equipment stands ready at all times. We're going to use a lot of hose, nozzles for water um, on a wildland fire. A lot of the, um, the way we put out a wildland fire is to dig hand line and separate the fuel from the fire. As the Hayden Pass fire grows faster and fiercer than originally feared. Colorado Springs Fire Lieutenant Starling and many others in CSFD say they are part of something called ROS. They subscribe to go on long range missions to fight these fires. Some of those deployments can last up to two weeks. So far, they specifically have not been requested to join the fights just yet.